Cheers, this is Ryan Lessing, Senior Risk Management Consultant with Berkeley Industrial Comp. And in today's training, we're gonna talk about the human behavior complacency. Complacency is important for workplace safety because safety professionals have identified it as being one of the main behaviors or a major contributing behavior for workplace accidents that occur in the workplace. The dictionary definition of complacency is self-satisfaction especially when accompanied by unawareness of actual dangers or deficiencies. Just like this image demonstrates, this is an Impala coming to a watering hole that it's probably used a hundred or maybe even a thousand times. And right next to them is inherent danger of a lion also taking a drink of water. This is very similar to human behavior. If we're doing the same task repeatedly on the same job site for, for days, years, months, at a time, it's human nature for us to become complacent. Although whatever task that we're performing may be hazardous, it becomes normal for us to overlook or not take that danger as serious as we need to. And this is where complacency starts to rear its head on a job site. Some outward common signs of complacency would be failure to wear fall protection, failure to wear your personal protective equipment or follow work rules that are set in place to prevent injuries. We've all seen this on a job site, and these are outward signs of complacency. We need to learn and be able to recognize these signs of complacency and take action before they cause harm on our job sites. Contributing factors will amplify or make the possibility of complacency to become more apparent on your job site. We all have contributing factors in our daily lives. We all undergo these stressors or these frustrations, which will increase the likelihood of complacency taking hold. Some common outward contributing factors to complacency are, is fatigue, rushing, family and social life distractions, work climate, using your cell phone, frustration or anger. Again, these are all commonplace daily behaviors or feelings that we undergo as human beings, but it's important that we need to stop and recognize when those elements or factors are distracting us from our work. When you're in a high hazardous industry, just a, a quick moment of distraction can quickly lead to disaster, such as not wearing fall protection. You, you, you combine somebody failing to to tie off because they're tired or they're in a hurry and they slip, tragedy has now stricken. And what research has taught us as safety professionals is that when we're in a common everyday work environment, complacency is increasing and we're more likely to make those type of mistakes because we're not as over aware or vigilant for those dangers as we should be. Safety starts with you. It is paramount, absolutely very important that we as individuals understand that we are responsible for our own safety. We're always going to have distractions in our daily lives. However, it's upon us to make sure that those distractions and our behavior doesn't lead to an accident or cutting a corner on the job site. We need to remain focused while we're at work. I've always uh, been taught the three R's, which is to arrive at work fit for duty, meaning right time, right place, ready to work. Let's talk about ready to work. This means not distracted, focus on the work at hand, and also fit for duty. And what I mean by fit for duty is rested, not fatigued. You know, if you stay out all night the night before, you're gonna have a hard time being rested the next day at work. That's a personal choice and something that your employer themselves cannot regulate. You also need to be free from impairments, whether it be from uh, illicit substances or alcohol. We all own our, owe our employer to show up ready to work and free of those distractions that will impact our ability to work safely. It's important to remember when you start your day and you look in the mirror, you're undoubtedly looking at the individual that it has the highest probability 
and can have the biggest impact on your ability to be able to return home safe to your family and loved ones. The most fantastic safety program in the world cannot overcome an individual making poor decisions, cutting corners, taking unnecessary risks, not wearing personal protective equipment. All of these things we have the ability to do when we're on the job site. It's important that we avoid complacency, hold ourselves accountable, and make sure that we work safe as we possibly can while we're out there on the work sites. Complacency is a common human behavior. However, there are several tools that we can use to our advantage to prevent complacency from taking over at the job site. Here are some tools that we can use for success. Fit for duty, which we previously discussed. Conducting pre-shift crew huddles. What I mean by that is gather as a crew or a team and talk about what tasks are gonna be performed the day, that day, what hazards are applicable to the job site, and what we can do to work as a team to prevent those hazards from causing us any issues or losses throughout the shift. Safety training, it's an employer's responsibility to conduct hazard awareness training. And most importantly, that training needs to focus on hazards that are applicable to our work sites. We need to communicate those hazards to everybody else that's working on the job site. You may see a hole or some type of hazard, but it, and you avoid it yourself, but we also need to communicate that hazard to make sure that it doesn't affect the next person or the person behind us. This, we also need to conduct regular inspections and audits of our job sites and equipment. Typically, these job sites need to be documented and all levels of the organization need to participate. Everybody from a frontline worker periodically all the way up to executive management team taking the time to look at our job sites assess it for hazards, and obviously when we identify those hazards, we need to do teamwork, work together to make sure the hazard's being controlled, eliminated, or handled in a manner that it's abated and cannot have any impact on our job site, and everybody's free and safe from that particular hazard. Teamwork is absolutely critical to any safety program. It takes management all the way down to the frontline workers, working together, communicating about hazards, and doing what we can to prevent those hazards from causing any losses there on the job site. How do we prevent complacency? A quick recap of our training today. We need to be able to identify complacency, what it is, and some of those contributing factors that definitely have an impact or increase complacency, whether it be fatigue, rushing, all of those are very important. We can recognize those. Are we frustrated? Are we mad? Are we angry? All of these things we can recognize and prevent them from causing harm on our job sites. We need to communicate clearly and often about all those hazards that are applicable or that we've identified on the job site to our work crews and, and maybe all those others that are out there working around us as well. Always remember teamwork equals success. We have to be able to work as a team to prevent losses. Remember, you are the one that's responsible for your own safety. The most outstanding safety program in the world cannot prevent you from taking unnecessary risks, becoming distracted, showing up to work in a manner where you're not ready to work, uh, whether it be fatigue or using uh, substance abuse, things of that nature. You are responsible for your own safety. Hold yourself accountable. Hold those around you accountable to make sure that the job, job site's safe as it possibly can be. Thank you for watching this short uh, video today on complacency. I hope you enjoyed our content. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. You can follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, just search for Berkeley Industrial Comp. We can also be contacted at the 1-800 number here at the, on the slide. Uh, please visit our website, www.berkindcomp.com. Also listed on this slide is our ramp team email address. This will route directly to all of our risk management consultants. Uh, please feel free to shoot an email there if you have any comments or concerns. Thank you for watching this uh, safety training video. Avoid complacency out there. Do what you can and always, as always, stay safe.